There you go, there you go. It is working, guys. Good morning and welcome back to the channel, y'all. So, as we've seen uh, on the previous video, I recently got a photo shoot done. So, uh, pretty soon I'll be posting those results. That way you guys can take a look at the pics. They look awesome. Uh, so I got I got a little bit of, of an update from Johnny and those pictures are looking freaking awesome, man. Like, like, dude, it's just amazing how pictures can really change the car, the way that it looks. And, you know, just the difference it makes from, you know, yourself taking the pictures to a person that knows what they're doing and knows how to edit. Uh, just the difference is night and day. So thank you once again, Johnny, for taking your time and, and doing that photo shoot. Uh, if you guys want a photo shoot like that, you know, Hit him up, I'll, I'll leave his info on the description down below. Whoa guys, so this steering wheel, I've been waiting for a long time for this. I'm very excited guys. So go ahead and check out Carbon Bargain and I will leave the link down below. And just wanna say once again, uh, Carbon Bargain, thank you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay guys, so we're gonna get this. And yes, we do have of course our shield pro ratchet cordless ratchet and our steering wheel guys i mean look look at this look at that that is freaking i mean the honestly guys the camera does not do it justice at all like i mean i'm serious check this out look at that i mean look at the i you know what guys i have honestly never had something like this in my life because I just never have, you know? Um, I'm not a rich person by any means. And I had a difficult upbringing. So <laughs> to experience this and, you know, it's just, I'm st I'm still in shock with everything. I, I know this, this car is not like, you know, like no V8, it ain't no Shelby GT350. It's not a GT500 for sure. It's not even a GT. But I mean, to experience what I'm doing and people I've met, uh, things that that are being done, I I mean I just cannot be any more grateful. I just really thank God for everything that has happened, and I mean I truly cannot be more great. I mean I don't even know how to express my gratitude. Quick shout out to Carbon Bargain. I'll leave their information below down in the description. And if you guys do decide to get one, let them know that I sent you guys David Build Blogs or at M Magnetic 2016. They'll set you guys up with with a good price so let them know and yes so we're getting back to this i mean look at this guys it's led and i've seen them on instagram i've seen them on instagram but to actually have one in my hands ready to put in the car it is just something insane and let's go ahead and compare them like this is a gc350 stock wheel it's it's the one with the black stripe and this is the aftermarket one i mean it is just it's beautiful like this is really pronounced you see that flat right there and on this one it's not so much it's just like just kind of a little bit but not really but check this out guys it's just i mean in the feel like it's it's just perfect i, I like it you get forged carbon fiber but then I started thinking, I'm going to have to put everything else forged carbon fiber you know I'm a big fan of carbon fiber guys I mean just look at that it is insane i mean this i'm telling you all <laughs> this the video does not do this steering wheel justice like it's gonna look insane that's all i gotta say all right guys so for the install you will be using a 10 millimeter socket 24 millimeter socket a pick and for me i'm going to use this one that converts to a half now that we have this removed, you guys can see this right here. That would be to disconnect this right here and it was on there. You disconnect that and then you disconnect these. Just remember they're color coded. So you wanna make sure that those go right back the same way that they came on because if not, 
more than likely this airbag will pop on you <laughs> so once you have that you can go ahead and release them and you just you can pick at them with a little pick that we use that we're using and they'll come off but just please remember the colors the way they are that's how they're gonna go right back on there bag is off as you can see i didn't have set that aside i'm sorry my shield pro cordless ratchet with my half inch attachment and i'm gonna need an extension because if you just put these two it's going to hit on the steering wheel and then you won't be able to take them off so i'm gonna go ahead and take this off there we go there we go here we have it and just remember as, as you're setting this stuff aside i have a pick a place where you want to put all the little screws so now actually this can come right off and as you can see the steering wheel is off and then you're gonna have this just make sure that this right here does not move and it's uh straight you don't want to move that because that's gonna have to go back into the other one and now this right here is going to have to be removed and transferred to the other steering wheel so you need to take these off which is this right here see that and then once these come off then the buttons can come off and they're just going to go right onto the new carbon fiber steering wheel Uh, the usually don't mention is you have to remove this one these right here because you need the uh, on the autos you need this whole back plate to go on the new steering wheel so also don't forget to un unscrew these as well so for this part for this part of the removal of everything you're going to use a t20 torx bit You do uh, the, the removal of this. It's just you know, pick it up like that, and there you go. Steering wheel. It comes with the harness as well, in this with the steering wheel, and there's a lot of wires actually. Uh, one goes into your OBD2, and this will be connected to this, and this is gonna go to the steering wheel. Use this transfer this right here back onto the new steering wheel, as you can see right there. Hey right, guys, so that's basically it. It's already all put together and it's ready to go back on the Mustang. All right guys, so once you have the steering wheel, you can actually go ahead and put it back on there. Just remember to not move anything. Connect as well. This piece, uh, this, connect it back on and then just remember that these are color coded so once they go back on the on that airbag so once you have your carbon fiber steering wheel on there uh, you're going to need a multimeter to check voltage here on uh, on a 12 on the 12 volt uh, wire and you, I wouldn't know which one it's going to be so I'm just going to use the multimeter and go ahead and check it and if real quick run down here if you don't know how to use one uh and if you want to check voltage this is a harbor freight one by the way so i would put it to right here and that's good we're good here as well and we're gonna go ahead and check it's this gray wire and this is the uh, the one that has 12 volts and of course we use the multimeter to find that out and now we're going to use the 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 cable that's going to send the signal uh and put this there all right everyone so as you know i'm just a youtube mechanic i'm not like no expert but mind you we have already uh we already have the the ohc smart box 
connected to the OBD and as I said before I connected this white wire that comes with the steering wheel and I connected it in through here and I'm going to tuck this in uh, really good Let's see we can see that uh, through the back now in order for to make this steering wheel light up you need to get this wire and connect it to that 12 volt here and with this red wire uh, you don't need the blue wire so that's why I kind of took that out of the way this one as you can see here uh, I just got the red one I found my 12 volt power source I got this wire that's coming out connected to the 12 volt source and that red wire and this should make our steering wheel light up so before putting all this in let's go ahead and just make sure I am sure because it already happened but you know I just want to show it to you guys and that way you guys can see for yourselves the steering wheel light up and this is hopefully this is useful for so uh the, for you all that have the 16 to 17s i'm assuming maybe the even the 1920s are the same thing but you never know but so that's always good to have at least the multimeter this is one from harbor freight hopefully it's not like those jack stands but anyways i'm just going to put some electrical tape on this part right there and that's pretty much it all right guys so this is the moment of truth there you go there you go it is working guys it is working and it looks amazing thank you again uh, carbon bargain the steering wheel is beautiful so let's go ahead and just get this all tightened up you guys saw everything worked so man make sure once you put the airbag that everything is how it should and we should be able to go from there all right y'all so another thing i noticed about the steering wheel that they don't mention uh, that i haven't seen mentioned is that you need to put your own clips from your previous steering wheel so we are going to do that and all you really need is just some pliers and this so what I'm going to do is just a little bit oh shoot so just kind of get yourself something to help you out with that and push it all the way in we are at the final stretch so two thousand years later connect this like this this one like that Push the pins down and you're ready to connect this as well. Now just go ahead and simply push in. Wait, before we do that, let's just make sure everything's clear. Yeah. Alright everyone, so as you can see it is the following day and everything's working perfectly fine. Positioning on the steering wheel is really nice. So, don't forget, guys, to go check out Carbon Bargain uh, on ins in on Instagram. And a reminder: I'll leave the description down below so you guys can get it. Check it out. <laughs> that is so cool. Alright guys, so that's pretty much the end of this video. I know it's not a DIY video, but 
like literally because i didn't go step by step i wish i would have but i didn't but anyways guys leave it a, give it a big thumbs up guys leave a like comment subscribe thank you all for stopping by see you on the next one oh, the other one was so easy